Good morning. Yes, so giving you a quick snapshot of what it's like for my mornings, uh, heading to and from my girls. We're heading over to the appropriate station that I actually want to use uh, to get to and from. Uh, this here gives me a direct access to the LRT when it's working. And uh, yeah, so you see me with pictures with a sign up over my head with a little 5 a.m. clock type of deal. Most cases it's 5 a.m., 6 a.m., earlier. That there is the train that takes me to Herdman. Herdman, from there, jump on a bus. Uh, that bus there takes me through South Keys and onto the Lentrum area, uh, where my horses are stabled over at the Royal Ranch. Anyhow, so this basically is just a quick little snapshot. Uh, me heading up, doing my 2.5 kilometer walk to the train station. And then uh, we'll take a look, do a quick little snap of what it's like to get into the train. And then what it's like to get onto the bus. And then what it's like to get onto the property. And then what it's like to actually walk into the barn and you get to hear my little girls this morning Nick, saying, good morning, daddy. We missed you, love you, now get our food. <laughs> Legitimately. <laughs> All right, we will see you at the train. Good morning. Here is the station. Anyways, I'm gonna flip this around so you see less of me and more of what I'm looking at. Ow. And try not to rip head out of my ears. Hey, gourds. Anyways, there's the O train. Or the O transit. Little spots where you can load up these wonderful things. Here we are. And great success. Escalators. And now we go down to the train. Very clean area, amazing. And it looks like I am either just in time or missing it. Oh no, that's Tunny's. That'd be the one that I actually take back home to Tunny's pasture area. And this is the spot uh, where I'm heading to Blair and it is actually coming in one minute. Oh, look at that. 6.35. All right. And here it comes. I'm just gonna get away from that. <laughs> and here we are. A beautiful Ottawa train. Oops, there we go. Stickers on the floor, letting you know which way to go out. Here we are, Power Station. So it lets you know there. There's a little map over here, whatever. No, can't see. Okay, and a little thing up there, just let you know uh, where you are on the train system. Get in and out. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're just pulling up to the Herdman station. Right now. Try not to record other people because uh, we're in Ottawa. So, a bunch of different mixed bags around here. So, this is the train line. What it does. Oh, yeah. As we approach the Herdman station, we will get off of this, go downstairs to the bus platform, and then go check out our bus. And off we go. So, we do that. Not very busy today. because it would be my luck that I would get stuck in it and that would just mess up my day. You're wondering why I'm actually running around headphones in. Not only that, it gives me a good uh, ability to record right now, but I also listen to music. Uh, my brain picks up on different types of sounds and uh, throws it for a loop every now and then. So I just kind of have that to ease and lower 
the octave the sounds and whatnot. So that way there I don't have to worry about getting my stress levels up. Bad enough dealing with all of this. Um, yeah. So this here just gives me a little bit more of a calm approach to my morning. Here we are. So these are the bus stops. A, B, C. Uh, if the LRT is down, your R1s, uh, the ones that will actually take you up the line one, you'll meet that there. The other buses are down there. As you see, lots of nice security stations. Each and every one of them actually have a camera up on it. And you go this way to have a little bit quieter approach to where I need to go. We're gonna be going to C, it's that one down there. Basically, I'm taking any bus that's going to get me to South Key Station. And I'm pretty sure... I actually want to go direct to lunchroom today. So I'm going to be taking the 93. Because there's no reason for me to go to South Keys this morning. Just due to the fact that nothing's open until 7 there. And I want to get going and get everything done. Okay, so lunchroom bus, as you can see, there's little screens. That. Okay, everybody. Uh, yeah, so there's a Lentrum bus. Uh, I said we weren't going to stop off at South Key Station, however, it is 7 o'clock, so I'll show you my South Key stop. The best thing about these buses is you only pay the once, and that there's basically your transfer. Just give you a little insight of the Ottawa transit system. They actually have dedicated lines, so the buses from here up to this particular location have no traffic other than bus traffic. It's totally dedicated to the buses and the buses only. Okay, here we are. This is South Key Station. We're going to exit to the rear of the bus. That's these guys are coming forward. Off we go. Okay, so South Keys, I don't want to keep your head on a little bit of a swivel. There could be some pretty interesting characters up and around this general area. However, it is a really convenient stop and a great spot. Uh, sun's out. And as you can see, there's like all the stops down this way. Going. So what we're going to do, since we're here at South Keys, we're going to go stop over at the grocery store, grab some snacks, energy drinks. Yeah, I'm definitely an energy drink fan. Whenever you're doing all the stuff that I'm doing with my horses that I actually do myself personally, well, you need extra. Uh, here's another screen that you know all the schedules of what stops are actually going where. And uh, <laughs> this is the part that just annoys me. I'm not a fan going through here. Ran into only one situation where I literally had to give uh, a little bit more of a forward look and a little bit more of a, an aggressive stance walking through. I 
this guy. Bam. So, here's that. Yeah. Yeah, so basically I'm not gonna have you follow me through a parking lot. It's kind of ridiculous. I don't need you to be seeing that. You all know what a parking lot looks like. Anyhow, we're going that way. As soon as we get to the end of that, where that truck's turning right, we're gonna turn left. And then it's just a flow of stores. I'll give you a little clip of that once we get there. Okay, so. They have Home Sense, Marshalls. I'm not sure if you can see him behind me, but that is a Walmart. Uh, hey, we got some winners. That's gonna be me and Stormy. Winners, not just clothing. No, I'm joking. Uh, we're in it to have fun if we win, we win. If we don't, uh, we're having fun and we're training. Uh, so yeah, there's Michael's. Kelsey's, that's an awesome little spot. I do like it. Uh, in Montreal, awesome. Really convenient that there's a Bank of Montreal in the area that I'm staying in down the street. Also a Bank of Montreal right here because that's the bank I deal with. I don't know why it is, but we always gravitate to Kelsey's with us military folk. And it's always a good time. Never a disappointment. Sweet and simple. Uh, Starbucks, I wish. <laughs> that lifestyle is done for now. In they go. Oop. That sucks. Okay. Uh, and finally we get over to the Loblaws Superstore. We call it Loblaws here. We call it Superstore. Same thing. Anyways. We will show you me going to get my food in the grocery store, I guess. YouTube likes that stuff. Do you like that stuff? I don't know. I don't really see like other people on YouTube documenting really, really simple stuff. Uh, however, we'll see if the sales are on. If they're on, we're gonna get them. And we're just Popping in through here. Okay. So normally I try to pile everything in my hands. I guess we have an onion skin this morning. That's great. But since I'm doing a recording, you guys will actually see what I'm doing in the run of my day. Okay, Peach Rockstar. Rockstar is not sponsoring this video, but you actually should be Rockstar because we use so much of this. Well, no, not so much of this. I normally go through around two to three cans a day. Yeah, I know that's too much, but ah. All right. Now, we'll see if we can actually get a, a good meal. Like, check all this stuff out. Like, I mean, why are we spending 50 to $70 to sit down at a, gro uh, at a restaurant when you just come here and grab this stuff and it's uh, a fraction of the price? Like, mm, chicken wings, $15 for all of that. Anyways, we won't be using that stuff. We're going over here. Meal's ready to go. And this is what I'm talking about right here. So, bam sales 50 percent off these are quarter chicken dinners that were or, yeah, quarter chicken dinners that were put on yesterday and uh yeah another 50 percent off so now it's like three bucks uh, i'm not getting the cake i'm not getting the cake i'm not but this is what i don't understand <sighs> okay. And that was that. See what I mean? 
It is amazing. Like something like that restaurant level would be $40 minimum. And then you're talking about your drinks. So I've got those up. Well, obviously grocery store pricing. Uh, I'm actually gonna take my sunglasses off because I look the ridiculous walking around inside of a store with sunglasses on. Not that much of a diva. All right. <laughs> Another thing I'm gonna show you here that's probably gonna blow your mind back in PEI world. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, don't wanna record everybody. These things are pretty cool. Expensive though. This. 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 Yeah. PEI does not have this. I don't think the Brunswick does either. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's like uh, the liquor store inside your grocery store. Yeah. Heineken. That's the good stuff. And guess what? Yesterday I did see. Oh, there we are. There's Keats. The pride of Nova Scotia. Anyhow, we're out. Uh, we're gonna get out of here and go pay for this stuff. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, that actually cost me under roughly under 10 bucks. And definitely was great service today. Gratitude. A mobile shop inside of a grocery store. And we are out. Ooh, right. Okay, so now heading back to the station where hopefully we can catch the bus that should be just arriving uh, within a couple of minutes of us getting there. Hopefully. If not, then we're going to be stuck there for around two minutes. Anyhow, again, same parking lot, just different, different point of view, different direction. You don't need to see that. Catch up with you guys later whenever we get on to the bus. And then I'll show you my Lentrum stop, or the uh, Albion Road stop, where literally I get dropped off within the block of the Royal Ranch, where Stormy and Athena are being uh, housed right now. Yeah, anyways. <sighs> that person. See you again soon. Bye. Okay, we're now at the South Key Station, back to where we came from. And we are stuck going to see when our next bus to Lentrum Boss Blossom Park will be. Okay, so if I was going home, I'd be going that way. What do we have here? Am I blind? I can see what I want. Oh no, that's one. Come on, Lentrum. 11 minutes on the 93. Well, look at that. We get to chill out and relax for 11 minutes. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Brickers over there, working on the LRT, the new LRT uh, track that's gonna be coming up through here. So that way we can just take the train all the way up to wherever we need to take it. Evidently, I'm pretty sure I'm still gonna have to get out here and take the bus, because we're not gonna put a train in through Blossom Park. It is a warm one already. I think we're sitting at uh, 17 degrees when I left this morning. It is probably around 18, 19 right now. Uh, we're climbing up to 29, 30 plus degrees today in Ottawa. So, dealing with that, 
girls are gonna be out, so enjoying pasture and hanging out with friends, so we don't have to worry too much about that. They also need to get used to the heat as well. They are getting used to the, used to the heat already, actually. So that's all done and taken care of. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I'm tired. Still tired. This is gonna be the story of my life until things are a little bit more normal and we actually get things on the go. So here's a quick look. The development of the line that's gonna bring the train all the way down to here, into the South Keys. And there's some of the buses. I really enjoy those uh, double-decker buses. They're pretty awesome, pretty fun. It was my first time actually being on one whenever I got to uh, Ottawa. So it was uh, interesting. Uh, being up that high. You get to sit right at the front of the bus so you get a, a, a real feel of what it'd be like to literally drive one of these buses. So that there is the airport bus. So that takes you right down to where you need to go, jump on the airplane. So everything is all connected. As you can see, there is no traffic here. These are dedicated uh, transit lines for OC transport. Up until you pass up there, then you actually start getting into some traffic. Obviously, you're getting into some traffic when you're in Ottawa. And that's why the LRT comes into play. So the LRT, as soon as you get onto the train, you don't get to deal with any of the traffic or anything like that. It's just the train jets you right to the next stop. And then it keeps on going. Makes for a very uh, efficient ride. And again, the rides here are very efficient as well uh, once you get onto this line, because again, dedicated transit lines. Anyhow, you know what it's like to get onto the bus, so I'm not gonna bother recording that part. I'm gonna crack a monster, or not a monster, sorry, Rockstar, crack a Rockstar. I do like monster as well too, but Rockstar, it's got peach. Peach Rockstar, it's a thing, trust me. All right, I'm out. Okay, so to give you a little eye view here, that is the bus that I was just on. Oh, we're gonna flip this around. There, there you go. Less of me, more of what's around. Okay, there's the Aussie shawarma. Pretty good spot. So yeah, this is where I get off the bus, where I cross the street. All right, so, Let's stop at that corner. And my horses are just down this little walk here. See where that car is pulling out? Well, they're within, I'm pretty sure it's that block. So this isn't even really a block. It's like, hmm, I need to 400 meters max, not even 400 meters of a walk from the bus drop there. Also at the end of this road, you can see the lights in the distance. There's another set of lights past that. Uh, probably another uh, two, three hundred, I would say 200 meters. Uh, it's the main road, that's bus stop 99. That there drops me off in the block <laughs> of the Royal Ranch. And legitimately you're taking a couple of steps and you can actually see the grown over 
uh, alternate access routes into the property. So basically, you're in the gates of Albion. And you're just gonna keep on going. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Lots of satellites on this one. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a nice little neighborhood. It's quiet. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know you don't want to probably watch the traffic and me walking, but I just want to literally take you on a walk with me from the bus, the, the bus stop, from where I get dropped off. And then you get to see, legitimately walk with me from the bus stop to where my horses are. Park across the street, Aladdin Park. It is already starting to be warm. So my basic thing that I'm gonna be doing this morning, I'm gonna go in, literally just get my horses situated, clean out their hooves, uh, brush off the area that I'm going to be using. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. I know it's against everybody else. Like, ah, you need to do a full groom. Well, no. I'm doing a full groom after my ride. I'm just gonna clean the areas that I'm gonna be actually attaching it first. So that way I can get the riding done, and the grooming done, the feeding done, and then we get them turned out, and then I get going. So here we are. There is a nicer entrance over there. I'll show you that in another video. This is the one I'm using this morning. Service entrance. <sighs> Yeah, see, we're here already. Like, this is the Royal Ranch. This isn't the uh, the pretty way of coming in. I don't need to be giving you guys the pretty way of coming in just yet. You can get it later. But uh, you'll get a quick look here. Okay. Arena. This here is the old barn. It's all repainted inside and stuff like that. The main outdoor arena. There's a paddock back there. There's some piggies over there. That's the new uh, indoor riding arena. And this is their barn for all the stalls. Now, this is the favorite part. I'm gonna take out my headphones because I like hearing this. Oh, one of my headphones. Okay, that's getting on my nerves. Okay. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. If you can't hear that, they just don't know. More so Athena. <laughs> oh, Stormy. No scoops. Kisses or you can do nose boots. Nose boots and kisses. Oh, <laughs> get the kisses. Oop, nose boots. Okay. That is it in a nutshell. We are here. And now it's time to get to work. <laughs> 